Hi right, guys, welcome down to part three here at Trump International. It's myself versus European Tour Pro, Gavin Moynihan. And there's two shots in it going into the last three holes. We've had a we've had a decent knock so far. We've just not quite held the putts, have we? No, we've played well. Actually. We've played pretty. Yeah, the last yeah last three holes has been windy as. I'm hopefully coming out. This is coming out okay. I'm on a slightly smaller camera today because the batteries that I charged up last night didn't actually charge up. Seventh hole, 470 yards, straight back into the wind. So these last three are going to be hard. Gav's up, driver. Nice, driver, driver four iron. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Excited to play this hole. Driver four iron. Beauty, that's the line you told me. Maybe even rescue. Perfectly in the middle of the fairway though. That's phase one done. Okay, follow that drive. Wind strong into and off the left. Okay, just right at the Burj Al Arab with the draw for the face. <laughs> Great ball. Nailed it. It's not moved on the line either. Go! Perfect. Woo. Big one. Big boy, that one. Sorry. Did you? Right, second shot into seven. This is a tough pin. Straight over the top of that bunker. 185 to clear the bunker and 200 exactly to the flag. Straight into the teeth of the wind. And the wind's pretty strong. Yeah, I played it, play it about 220, 225. What are you out with there? Two iron? No, four iron. Four iron? I'm just trying through the bunker and there's a big four of them. Yeah, so 185 to the bunker, into wind if you clear it about 200. Release down, will it? Is it downhill oh, yeah. or anything? Yeah. Carry that bunker, I think it's going to be good. Just there we go. Left, but <laughs> Carry the bunker, and it's going to be good. This is the aftermath of the shot. Gav, I apologize. Battery went right on impact. <laughs> so I'm just gonna zoom in anyway, just to show you where the, where the ball's finished. He's just cleared it over the bunker and it's in a very good position. Apologies, shot of his life, not caught on camera. <laughs> okay, so 187 to the flag, straight into wind. We've got the same club. Same club, yeah? Yeah, are you back there? Stop. Yeah, I just don't know how far. I'd say I'm about 25 feet at furthest, I'd say. I don't think it's a club less though, is it? I'm only, I'm only five yards up, ten yards up. Yeah. Just flight one in there. Flight it. <laughs> a little butter. Punchy cut. Punchy cut, right. Okay, you've you, you asked for it, I'm going to give it. Not in my locker. No, it is. I've got this. Oh, I cut. Little cutty one. Too much. Right bunker. Oh, that is. Nice lead bunker. That's it? Yeah. Well, bounced right. <laughs> 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 20 foot slope to come up. Just over the back on seven here. Tough shot. Grainy kind of chip shot on landing on a down slope. So inside 10 feet would be a great shot. Tough shot downwind, it was sloping away, it was nothing much you could do really. Ah, tough shot, tough shot. Oh man, that was hard. So, I was thinking to land it like here, with, with height, but where they land like pin high? Oh, okay. Because of what happened on the, four, the fourth, the, gr the grass is so grainy, the club just sticks into the ground. So you've got to really commit to the shot and not have any doubt. So I just had to get through it. Now I've got an absolute beast of a putt back up the hill. Not the miss, not the miss at all. If you're gonna miss it, you miss it where I am now, leave it short. Terrible club selection for the second shot. 
Right, so Gav to open up with part three with a birdie. Break, break. Oh, great effort, take it away, pass. Safe on, yes, yeah, safe par 470 into wind. Now then, I'm gonna get my safe par now. <laughs> He's due on. Slow put, probably right to left the whole way, just tough one to get it there. Give it a chance. Oh, broke the away. Oh, we had it. <laughs> right in the middle again. The line. He's due one today, he has the lines today. Oh, that's, that's the typical me, that over two holes. Missed the short bird and put, mate, where we going next? <laughs> Eighth hole, and had the wind not been here, maybe if it was slightly downwind, it would be drivable. It's 317 from the tee that we're on now. You see the guys there, they're in the kind of wasteland off the side of the fairway and the flag there is now being covered by the buggy. So we're going to be looking at hitting towards the green side bunkers there up the right hand side. Both that way driver trying to get as close as we can and let's bring a birdie. There's not been a birdie on camera yet in Dubai. I was hoping you'd produce that. I don't think I can. Oh, striker. Love that. Straight at the bunker, like we said. Yeah, that'll be the green side bunker. Yep. Up and down. Ripped. Struck. So left of that green, right green side bunker, it's another green it's another bunker, isn't it? There's a few bunkers up there, yeah. Right. Wind's off the left, straight in the flag. Let the wind hit it. Carries. Did it really well. Just pulled it up. It's on the left, at right edge of clubhouse. You know better than me what's up there. Should be if he gets any kick, it should be actually very close to the green. Should kick right. Two points ready. Yeah. Right. So up onto the green. I am walking to the green right now. Gav is there, just into the bunker, and the green is just here. If I pan round a little bit more. I'm just there in the middle of the fairway. So we've both hit two good shots. Gav's very comfortable in the bunkers. You'll see why in a second. But it's a hard one. So he's got high lips come over. It's probably about 12 feet of lip. And then quite a long carry of bunker. Of green, sorry. And then from here it goes down to the flag. So if we can get the ball landing around about here with a bit of spin. Talking that, talking that shot up, but it's hard. But he's got this. Up and down, I think, here, Gav. Par 5 finish. Let's try and give you some birdies to finish. Traveling. Oh, just grabbed. Yeah, just grabbed up halfway. Probably needed about 10, 10 feet more. 10 feet more, and it would have just caught that slope and headed slightly down there. Still got a chance, though. Still got a chance of birdie. 30, 35 yard shot, landing on a down slope here. Yeah, we to be, again, inside 10 feet, a good shot. Just to go. Oh, just bit on him. He's not happy with that one. Still 224 as we make them. Just went straight and then broke left. I knew it was going to go there, but I thought it was going to break up until it was away. Chipping and pitching is so different to what we're used to. Grass is so grainy, grabby, sticky. So normally I'd like to have probably gone for a slightly higher shot then and just landed it soft onto the top of the hill. But really you've got to kind of put the ball a little bit further back in the stance, hand forward, and just kind of 
I almost feel like you're stabbing it, just like a low fizzy one. You see how much check the second bounce got, it basically stopped on its second bounce. But then to have the confidence to be that aggressive and that low and know it's gonna stop dead on the second bounce is something they're gonna get used to. In England, that, would, that sort of shot would bounce, bounce, bounce and release. Here it bounces and stops. Right, Gav down the hill for his birdie. Should shape, stop. Ah! A hard look. See a break at the end, that last six foot. Six foot, it went from the outside of the right to the outside of the left. Okay, two pars, probably two slightly disappointing pars from where the tee shots were. But you know what, ninth hole's par five, yeah? yeah right, we've got ninth, we've got and the ninth. What a, what a finishing hole it is, so we're hitting straight back to that awesome looking clubhouse. Par five, very, very long. I actually forgot to see the yardage. Water. 535, I think. 535, wow. Okay, we can get it in two if we absolutely rip one off this tee. So, water down the right, wasteland of desert down the left, but fairway in the middle. Wind slightly into and off the left. Two very good hits. Flag is just there in the top left corner. We're going to be hitting out towards the 18th flag, which is just there, so we get the angle back in. Yeah, we need two bombs in this one, two big ones. Oh, he likes it. Strike it well. That is running. Slightly lower ball, fly a little bit more, draw back into the breeze. Textbook, Gav. Links ball. <laughs> Links ball. That runs so. Serious. Oh, look at you see it still going. Trying to find an extra five miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no spin, hit up, launch it. Perfect. Then a right side. Just a little bit down the right, but I didn't leave anything back. Perfect. A little bit longer than that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect, that's funny, if you rescue him, I'd probably have four iron maybe, still rescue it, so, plays an angry. Two, three, one. It looks quite tight here, but I can see quite a lot of green to the right of that bunker as well. There's a little bailout, but this is pin seek in this cab, eagle finish, yeah? Yeah, high cut two iron. No, I'm not cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is going for Ripper. Now you got over. over. That's an up and down birdie if you've ever seen it. No chance. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Okay, so after that bomb, drawy, runny beauty off the tee, we've got 195 in. Yeah. Four iron, five iron? Yeah, five iron here. Five iron, yeah. Wind off the left, so it shouldn't be hurting too much being in. Well, a little bit into actually. Yeah. This is this is nice for your flight. Let's just hold it into that wind. Oh. Just overcooked it. Bunker. Uh, terrible shot. Terrible. It's the pressure of the. There was, there was, a, there was an Instagram camera going as well. It's added pressure. Not his best two iron he's hit, so. Tough shot here to the pin. Right tight over the bunker. See how he gets on. Could use the bank past him to the right. See how he plays it. Lovely shot. Shot of the day. Ah, oh, what a player. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs>
That was sick. <laughs> Scooty in the spun. Love that. Yeah, I gave you like three options the way you could have played that time. I thought you were going to go up the bank. <laughs> to be fair, that, little, that crazy little putter just did then. Oh, that was nice. That was good. Oh, that was a really nice shot to bring this vlog to an end. Right, let's have two birdies. I'm going to hold that one. Surely. <laughs> Right, Gav up and down for his birdie. Up and down will get Gav finishing level par for the night holes. Which is a pretty decent knock. It is pretty windy out here today. I think I'm four over with a couple of really bad decisions and not getting used to chipping. Stick, 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 stick. Two good birdie chances. Right, come on Gav, let's finish. Two, two birdies to finish. I'll bring the vlog nicely to an end. <laughs> Just didn't hit the first one hard enough. Right, I'll get it then. Terrible, <laughs> terrible goal. Terrible. <laughs> right, come on. What do you want? <laughs> I'll take it. Just on the right edge. Yeah, lovely. Big birdie. Nice to finish on a birdie. <laughs> Very happy with myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Right guys, that brings us to the end of today's vlog. Massive, massive thank you to Trump International for hosting myself and Gav today. Thoroughly, enjoy thoroughly enjoyable nine holes. Gav takes the victory. I finished, I finished three over with two pretty stupid holes. So yeah, not too upset. Got to get used to those chipping areas. So yeah, massive thank you to Trump. Check out Gav up on social media, Instagram and Twitter. And from us, see you soon. Good luck in Perth, Gav. Cheers, lads. Comment below, everyone wish him good luck. Give him the YouTube look, he's gonna, gonna win. <laughs>